the NBA seems to do, it's a personal opinion, um, a better job or an excellent job. We don't have to compare it to others at giving elite athletes the space to also be activists, yes. um, whether it's around voting rights, whether it's around systemic racism, whether it's around mental health. And the, the piece that's so impressive is none of you pretend that we don't live in the world as it really is. And the contributions are meant to improve people's lives. I mean, you tweeted on January 6th about both these issues, about yeah. the violence and about the inequity that you thought was playing out. Can you just talk about what that freedom is like as a responsibility that you all feel? I think it's, re it's a responsibility, but I think it's a beautiful thing. I really believe it's a beautiful thing that we, we play in a league that not only supports us, but is a driving force in everything that we want to accomplish or get done. I mean, I look at a former teammate in LeBron James, what he's done with an I Promise School and, and secondary education in Akron, Ohio. Uh, I look at guys like, uh, you know, Chris Paul. I look at DeMar DeRozan. I look at, you know, a number of guys that uh, be spoken about school, Steph Curry, about schools, or Giannis, who's impacting people even, uh, you know, outside of Greece, outside of Africa, all around the world. These are these are people that kids look up to and we hang really hang on their every word. But they check so many boxes. And I think that the NBA does a great job of uh, really elevating everything that we do and um, really enabling us to, to make an impact on the greater good across all the things that you talked about. Do you have the awareness of, I mean, when Steve Kerr talks about guns, it's <laughs> yeah. like our world stops, the newsroom right. stop. Um, when, when Coach Pop talks about school shootings, you know, yep. my, I mean, it's so impactful. Do you, do you all have a sense of that? I mean, you're in the middle of your season sometimes, or does that break through, or do you I, try to block it out? I do, and as a, as a young kid, I looked up to, you know, some of the greatest coaches of all time, and that, those are two that very well could be on the, the Mount Rushmore of, totally. of, of coaches, especially in the NBA. And those, because of Steve's story with his father, uh, because Pop um, having served and, and what he's about, uh, those things, you know, hold a lot of weight and their word does as well. So when you see players who have so much influence at one press of a button can send out a PSA and get to tens of millions of kids and hundreds of millions of fans and people, it's incredibly powerful. And not everybody has that platform. So to have that responsibility and to really speak on it and, you know, even if, if, if we're going to start the conversation for good or for bad, for better or for worse, that at least we're having the conversation and we're open to having it. And hopefully we can stay, you know, kind of even keel mm -hmm. and listen to each other, really hear each other.